Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful employee performance tracking dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of the employee performance tracking dashboard. And here we are showing total number of employees. We are taking here 100 employees. Performance score, this is the average performance score out of 5. So we have here 3.4 rating for overall employees. This is total training hours and this is training hours and this is project completed number of projects and number of employees eligible for promotion. Then here we are showing the performance score by the department. We can see this is the star rating chart and the highest performance rating for the marketing department and lowest for the sales department. This is the num percentage for the not eligible employees for the promotion. And here we are showing the good plus excellent rating performance. This is the project completed by month. Now we have given on the right hand side various slicers. So you can just select any month from here. The whole dashboard will be filtered. You can select any department from here. Then you can see everything is getting changed. If you want to see how many employees are eligible for the promotion in finance department 3, HR, we can see 3 and IT is 4. So you can quickly see that information also. On the right hand side, we have given the navigation pan and you can just jump to the another page like we want to see the department analysis. So just click here. Now it will take you to the department analysis page wherein we are showing the good plus excellent performance percentage by the department. So in the HR, we have 38% of the employees are getting the good plus excellent performance either they are getting the good rating or the excellent rating okay and the lowest is in the finance department then here we are showing the project completed by the department number of project and training hours by the department okay again you can just select any department from here to see the per data for the particular department or you can select the month to see the month on month information or you can select some other information also now just go to the job role analysis and here we have good plus excellent performance by the job role. So we can see managers are getting the highest and executive are lowest. Okay. Then here we have the project completed by the job role and here we have training hours by the job role. Again, you can select the department if you want to select that or you can select the month. Okay. The data will be filtered. Let's go to the rating analysis wherein we are showing the various ratings. So this is by the job role like executive level, manager level. We can see highest rating are for the managers. We are showing here the performance score by the total employee and that is the performance grade. Like below average we have 34 employees average is 40 and good is 12 and excellent is 14. If you want to see this information by department, you can just select a department then you can see in the finance department, we have excellent two, good one. And if I go to the HR, then we can see three and five. And similarly for the IT, we can see that is two and three. And you can see the other information also as you want. This is the project completed by the top seven employees. Let's go to the monthly trend to see the month level information. Promotion not eligible count by the month. And this is the average plus below average performance by the month and here we are showing the performance score by month okay so this is all in uh, data available here and you can see any of the page using the this navigation now i will show you the data also and how you can update your data and how you can refresh the dashboard let's go to the file and options then just go to the advanced and scroll it down just check this so seat tabs click on ok now we can see all the seat tabs at bottom and let's go to the data here we have this data employee id employee name department job role performance score out of five ting and then here we have review date then we have project completed training and then we have peer review score and then we have here promotion eligible yes or not remarks we have put here some calculations to create the calculated field and uh, in the pivot table and to create the charts okay and to create the per 
परसेंटेज ऑफ दी वेरियस लाइक प्रोमोशन एलिजिबल परसेंटेज एक्सेट्रा सो वी आर यूजिंग लेट्स ए प्रोमोशन एलिजिबल काउंट एंड वी जस्ट हैव दी नॉर्मल फॉर्मूला इफ फंक्शन इफ प्रोमोशन एलिजिबल इक्वल टू ईयर्स देन वन अदरवाइज जीरो Similarly, here we have put the information. We have we are taking the average plus below average performance and good plus excellent performance together. And how we are doing that? We have here rating, and in the rating you can see we are showing these four: average, below average, excellent, good. Okay. And then here we are just using the formula if or rating is equal to good or rating is equal to excellent. Then we are taking one. Whether it is good or excellent, it will show one. Otherwise, it will show Zero. All right. This is the total employee we are taking here. One and uh, for the month from the review date, we have created a month using the tax function. Then year we have created here using the tax function. All right. So that is how we have created this data, and you just have to update the data till here only. The formula will be adjusted automatically. You can simply delete this data from here and just put this data in the same format. After putting the data here, you just need to go to the data tab and just say refresh all. The whole dashboard will be refreshed automatically, and you can start using that. All right, so that is how you can update your data, and you can start using that. All right, friends. Now, friends, I will show you this support sheet also. In this support sheet, we have created the various pivot table. On the basis of this support sheet, we are creating this all page and the charts. Because all cards and the charts are connected directly with these pivot tables. Here in the support sheet, we have various pivot table, and we have put the page name also, so that you can easily identify these all pivot tables are created for overview page. Now, if I go right side, then I can see the another page name that is department analysis, the second page. Now, from here onwards, we are creating the chart for a pivot table for the department analysis to create the chart then for the job role analysis then for the rating analysis then for the monthly trend analysis okay so we can see that here now in the pivot table we have created the various calculated fields also let me click on any pivot table go to the pivot table analyze and then go to the field and just say list formula we have created here many formulas to create these pivot tables and the charts now if you want to learn how can we create the calculated field and how we can create the formulas here inside the pivot table as well as how we can create this type of design and the charts the advanced chart we have used here like star rating chart battery chart and this type of donut chart okay you can join our course we have given the link in the video's description box inside that course we have explained each and everything in details and we have given the practice file link also in the course so that you can practice with us for each chart each dashboard and each pivot table now i will quickly show you how you can create this type of star rating charts also so let's say we have taken here this star rating chart for performance score by department so if i come to the overview page then you can see we are taking here performance rating by department so what we are doing we are taking here per average of the performance score you can see if i double click you can see that is the average of the performance score we have created a calculated field and the name of that calculated field is the max rating i will show you this one this is max value we have taken another one that is max rating this one and max rating we have put 5 static because we can have the maximum rating 5 and then we have moved this field here now once we have created this pivot table then we can create a chart here so let's click here and then go to the insert and we will insert this type of chart now after creating this chart you can just go to the chart element and just say hide all and then go to the uh, just remove this one also from here uncheck the grid lines as well as legion we don't need this axis also so you can just delete that all right once this chart is this is the 2d bar chart and you can just insert a shape from here and that shape will be a star shape you can take this shape here and just click here now just make a copy of this shape and just keep this here for the first shape we will fill the color here let's say i'm taking here this color and the outline i'm taking here none and similarly here also i'm taking let's say this color or this gray color or you can take more lighter even then say no outline okay 
so we have created two star save one is the golden star another one is the gray star we'll copy the gray star and we'll select this big bar that is for the max rating just right click go to the format data series and just come to the fill and just picture or texture fill okay because we have already copied this or you can copy it once again now just click and here in the fill and line just go to the fill picture and texture fill and just click on clipboard either you can paste it directly using the control b i will show you using this one now once you have pasted that you can see the star shape is appearing here just scroll it down and just go to the stack and scale width just select that now here we can see the five different shapes are appearing make sure one should be here now just copy the golden star and just select the another bar you can directly paste that here press ctrl b so either you can go with this method like picture a texture field and then click on clipboard or you can select and press ctrl b automatically that will appear here just scroll it down and select stack and scale width and make sure one should be here now once this is done just come here and just right click go to the format data series just change the gap width slightly and then series overlap series overlap make it 100 percent now we can see this star rating chart is ready and the stars are filled according to the available performance you can select these golden star right click and add data labels select the data labels make them bold bigger and black color okay so now you can see this star rating chart is ready so friends that is how we have created this chart here and then we can place this here if you want to learn more about the other charts and we have created some more advanced level charts inside our course you can join that and you can learn with me all right friends Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.